Okay, so looking at this from the back, you see the screw here. The screw on the other one on the other side. Um, you need the long silver ones. They actually go through the connectors. Okay, so to get the LCD back on, you have to put it back in there, supporting it as much as you can because uh, it's really heavy and it will cause the uh, screw threads to come out of alignment. Uh, so you can slide those uh, big bolt connectors off the LCD into those holes, take the long screws, and then screw them in as best you can. two guys here. One of them is going to be for the Bluetooth light and one of them is going to be for the other light, the main light. So actually okay so with all this attached we have one issue remaining which is that There is a JBL1 jumper back there, which I have no idea what it hooks up to. We're going to attach that heat spreader above all this stuff, and that will be the last we see, I hope. So these little screws are what we're going to use to attach that heat spreader. According to the heat spreader itself, they are M2X. M2X4s, and we'll also take the opportunity of attaching these guys over here. Actually, that one's the other side, but these um, gray tabs will be obscured by what you will recognize, and uh, so we'll just use another black screw for those two, and not the silver screws. Okay, I just took the liberty of moving the plastic sheathing from these aisles here all the way to the end point where they actually attach similarly up here. And that's because these were causing the metal panel that we're going to put on uh, to warp a little bit. And we want a really flat surface here for the keyboard to lie on. That on, I have decided to leave off those latches, um, these guys, for the moment, because uh, I want to get some screws into this thing so that uh, the LCD no longer is trying to warp the plastic on the edge of the machine here. So this is the back. Uh, let's take a peek over here. You can see I just put in a screw there, which is obviously supposed to be cancelling. Unfortunately, I've run out of countersunk screws, so what we learned from this is that I put the wrong screw in somewhere and I should take more pictures. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to swipe a countersunk screw uh, from the old motherboard. So using these screws, I'm going to install them uh, in every possible location I can find on the outside in order to give this chassis some strength back. Thank you. 
refuse to watch them. So, get your student player then. Just reach in on the inside and push down the little metal latch. Uh, but we're going to lock in place using the mythical inch long screw. Have in there. 